Justice League America Annual No. 6 from 1992, written by Dan Mishkin and penciled by Dave Cockrum. This issue, the League is facing a powerful and campy villain, Eclipso. Once imprisoned in the moon, he vows to regain the power he once held and takes control of people using magic stones that prey upon the victim's inner rage. The stones leave them twisted and violent. The opening monologue really gives you a taste of the Star Trek original series vibes that Eclipso gives off. That power shall be mine again! The League is gathered to deal with Eclipso's freedom from imprisonment. This era of the League really feels like an ensemble sitcom. The preceding bickering is a good example. They don't get along well, and Superman is really anxious that it'll get in the way of stopping Eclipso. Confiding in Diana, his concerns. While the League is stuck dealing with some inner turmoil, by chance a cop has touched one of the stones. Taking him over in the midst of a shootout, the officer then turns his gun on the bystanders, only to be stopped by Wonder Woman. I'm not really sure if it's very tasteful for Wonder Woman to stop a police shooting like a Saturday morning cartoon PSA. She managed to knock him at him at his murderous rage and prevent him from touching her with one of the stones, but not before he took many lives. After reconvening, everyone is agitated and acting shifty. Except Frost, who is a little too into Wonder Woman to notice. Maxima is enraged by Diana's sheer presence. How dare there be a tough woman near Superman other than her. Maxima storms off, and we get one of the creepiest faces seen in this era as Starman slips her, one of Eclipso's stones outside of the JLA fortress. And putting Maxima under Eclipso's control. The middle portion of this issue really showcases Ted Kord as the Blue Beetle. Working to create a solar-powered gun to fight Eclipso, Blue Beetle is left to duplicate his invention while the bulk of the team addresses the chaos being caused by a possessed Maxima at a nuclear facility. In this fight sequence, you get everything to love about Ted Kord's Blue Beetle while he fights an incredibly cartoonishly villainous Eclipso. Not surprisingly, this issue really features Ted Kord. And in this fight specifically, you get some great acrobatic stunts, some inventiveness, some great quips, a love of food, and he really shows some tactical decisiveness against Eclipso. This portion of the comic really reminded me of the DC showcase Blue Beetle that came out with the Batman Long Halloween DVD. Maxima manages to escape the bulk of the JLA just as Blue Beetle gets the best of Eclipso. Eclipso gets away just in time though because Ted is hungry. But before he can fill his gut with that pastrami sandwich, he's shot by one of the solar guns from off panel. Ted really likes being killed at the end of comic books. I can list at least three. This comic was great. Uh, it has a great storyline with a really campy villain for the era, and it showcases one of my favorite heroes of the era, Ted Gord's Blue Beetle. Not to mention he has some of the best facial expressions in this comic. <laughs>